In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert percentile scores into Z scores. And some of you may know already that percentile scores might be expressed either as a probability or a percentage. So in this case here, we have 0.50, uh, which is the probability expression of a percentile score. So this person or case score is equal to or greater than 50% of the sample. And here it's expressed as a percentage, 50%, 5-0. Now, the technique I'm going to show you in SPSS assumes that you're dealing with probabilities. So if you have percentile scores, you'll have to divide these in such a way to get down into a, a probability value. So you can divide by 100. So percentage divided by 100, and it should convert it into the percentile probability. I'm just going to do it twice here. And here we get the percentile probability too. So I'm just pointing that out that if you have percentiles expressed at percentages, convert them into probabilities, and then you can get the Z score. So I'm going to assume that you are doing that and you're dealing with that issue. So I'm going to show you how I converted these probability scores, or percentiles expressed as probabilities, into Z scores. So it's pretty easy. You just have to use the inverse distribution function in SPSS. So click on function group all and look for the IDF function and look for normal I should say the IDF family of functions and you can see IDF normal probability mean and standard deviation so I'm going to call this variable that I'm going to call Z score redo because I'm going to redo what I did to get those Z scores that I you saw in the SPSS data file I got a double click here to get this into the numerical expression and so I'm going to put my probability score here and the no standard normal distribution has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. And so I'm going to click OK. And there, now I've got the Z scores for these percentile scores. So a person who has a percentile score of 0 0.50, or expressed as a percentage 50, they have a Z score of 0. And you can see here, someone has a Z score nearly of 1. And correspondingly, they have a percentile probability of 0.84, which is something if you know already it's about 84 uh, percent corresponds to a standard deviation about one so instead of having to use uh, a table like this that I found online that I don't think is actually entirely accurate but it's fairly accurate but I think it's at the edges it's a bit inaccurate instead of using a table like that you can just use the inverse distribution function to get those z scores